mud flows, flooding. We've already seen it after the devastating wildfires here in Southern California. And experts are warning if you're in a burn area, it could happen again. FEMA wants to help. David Marstead is a deputy administrator with FEMA. Welcome, David. Thank you, Sandra. So we look at that. It's frightening, but I think some people still maintain that attitude, right? It's not going to happen to me. Right. FEMA is there if you do need help when it does happen, right? I mean, that's, that's their role is to help sure. people get back on their feet. Absolutely. The National Flood Insurance Program is there to make sure that people have the funds uh, that have an insurance policy after a disaster so they can then recover. And we know that after wildfires comes flooding. The ground uh, doesn't, absorb the, doesn't absorb the rain so we can get uh, rapid runoff, mm -hmm. uh, mud flows. And so people, while they're in the recovery process of either rebuilding their homes or helping neighbors and friends, they need to think about uh, closing the insurance gap and making sure that they have a flood insurance policy uh, so that if a flood event does happen, uh, they have the coverage. And it's important to think about that now because it takes a while for it to go into effect. Right. Yes, there's a 30-day waiting period mm -hmm. before the flood uh, uh, policy goes into effect. So contact your insurance agent or your insurance company now. Uh, find out uh, what kind of a flood zone you're in. Uh, if, even if you're not in the, in the high-risk area, mm -hmm. uh, we find after disasters all across the country that many people who didn't think that they were uh, at risk for flooding uh, because they weren't in the high-risk area uh, ended up being damaged and flooded and didn't have the policy, didn't have the resources to recover. So it's real important to not think that it's not going to happen to me or think that it's going to be covered under my homeowner policy uh, or that the federal government will bail me out. Uh, so it's just important that people act now and make sure they have the right coverage. You mentioned the gap, and that's the, the difference between what your insurance company is going to pay and how the federal government is going to help. Well, the gap is uh, really a phrase for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. One, it could be making sure that you have the right kind of insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, so people, as I said, will believe their homeowner policy will cover. Uh, there's a gap there because the homeowner policy generally doesn't cover flood. So you fill that gap by, by having a national flood insurance program. The other gap is uh, either not know understanding your deductible mm -hmm. uh, or even not having a, the right limit of insurance. So underinsurance is also part of this gap that we're trying to close as we work to develop a culture of preparedness all across the country, but certainly in disaster areas uh, post-disaster. We've talked a lot about flooding and mudslides, but we know that people here in Southern California are already looking at ways to rebuild after the devastating fires. Mm -hmm. what, do we, what do we have to keep in mind when we start mm -hmm. the rebuilding process? Well, part of a uh, culture of preparedness is thinking ahead. And mm -hmm. so uh, if, uh, if their home has been completely destroyed and they're, and they're siting uh, that where they're going to have their home again to make sure that they think about vegetation management, uh, make sure that they have defensible space and they keep that in mind and then also uh, building materials and build the code and we we know that that codes work uh, rebuilding stronger works and so going through those steps making sure that uh, that you have the right type of building uh, construction uh, in place some people believe that it costs a lot more to build stronger mm -hmm. and it really doesn't it's just choosing the right materials uh, that can help uh, protect that home if another another fire comes along. Yeah, we've progressed a lot since many mm -hmm. of the homes in the wildfire areas were built. Absolutely. All right, David, thank you so much here. for being thank here. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, for more about FEMA and the National Flood Insurance Program, just check out our website. It is kcal9.com. We've got more information right there for you.